Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, kids of all ages, welcome back to FTB Horizons. I had to think for a minute, what game was I playing? I've got so many going on right now. But uh, yeah, we're back in our FTB Horizons world, back on the block, as a matter of fact, doing some modded Minecraft, doing all the cool things. JT Lewis stopped by and said, dude, I brought something for you. And so uh, we're over here to take a look at it. He left it on the island because apparently he didn't have access to my base because of... Um, claimed chunks and chunk loading and all that good stuff, but we have fixed that. So now people can come, whoops, people can come to the base and uh, and they can leave things for us and it's all good. But uh, let's take a look inside and see what he has given us. He has given us a bunch of stuff for Evilcraft. Apparently he saw the first episode where we were, uh, where we decided that we were gonna do some stuff from Evilcraft and so all of that is very welcome to, uh, very welcome to, to have. Uh, so we'll take all of that and uh, we're going to go back to the base and I'm going to show you some stuff starting with that thing right over there. Last episode you may or may not recall that we uh, that we put together some power. Uh, so we actually are making RF now. I'm going to talk about that a little bit today because we're going to work a little bit more with that. But uh, I've also decided on a kind of a base theme, right? So this is the main full craft temple that we found and where we're going to put our base. I put a little cobblestone ring around it so that I can do some stuff. Uh, but then I'm going to have some of these little like uh, not necessarily temples but um, I don't know maybe you call them pagodas um, I'm gonna have some of these little temporary ones or not temporary but little smaller ones out and about throughout the base uh, this one over here is actually gonna end up being a mob spawner which brings us to what we're gonna be building today we're not building the mob spawner yet but we're gonna need we're gonna need supplies to build that mob spawner um, and we're gonna have one for the for the waystone we'll put another one out here so that the waystone has a place to go um, so that it's not up here in the temple um, because this this temple I don't want there to be a bunch of stuff in it right uh, with the exception of back here last episode we put a uh, we put this uh, steam dynamo and aqueous accumulator over here and I got to thinking about it after I did it I was like you know what I don't really want it out there where it is uh, front and center, I kind of want to have it hidden. So I put it back in here behind the aqueous accumulators underneath. We are in fact making power, which is very awesome. But all we have to run, we don't, well, we don't have anything to run because all we have are regular old vanilla furnaces. So today I want to do some stuff about that. Today I want to get uh, some cables. I want to get a pulverizer going. I want to get, uh, uh, I want to get, be able to get to an igneous extruder because I want to be able to make cobblestone and sand and, uh, and all that good stuff. Uh, so that we can have all of the materials that we're going to need to build to go that thing over there um, There is some cool stuff that we're going to do with evil craft But it's going to require glass which means we're going to have to have a steady supply of sand in order to get sand You're going to have to have cobblestone and a pulverizer and all that good stuff So that's what we're going to work on today. So to get a pulverizer Pulverizer that'd be this thing Pretty straightforward just need some copper gears Need a frame, which is a tin gear surrounded by glass and iron. I think I have the glass. Do I have the glass? I don't have the glass there. I don't have the glass there. I did put in some temporary storage right here. <laughs> there's, there's all my step assist totems. Thanks, guys. Um, glass? I do have some glass. I think I might have enough glass that I can build the pulverizer. Have enough to make the pulverizer? Because really, yeah, we only need four pieces to make that. So yes, we should have enough. So we gotta make ourselves a tin gear, we gotta make a couple of copper gears, we need some gold. All of that is over here. Uh, we're gonna need to do some more copper, aren't we? Do I have more copper. I oh, I only have copper. Yikes, how much copper do I need? I need two copper gears, and I only have two pieces of copper? That's no bueno. That's no good. Why do I have cobblestone? Cobblestone doesn't hold. I'm out of there. Did I use up all of my copper? I think I might have. I might have to go on a little mining expedition first before we do this. Um, as a matter of fact, I think that's what I'm going to do. We, we're doing, we're sitting pretty well on most of our other ores for now. I did make an energy cell frame. Uh, the energy cell frame was pretty straightforward, but we can't do anything with it yet because we can't make uh, electrum yet. That's one of the other reasons why we need... Ooh, bump my microphone stand. Um, that's one of the other reasons why we need the pulverizer so that we can get dust, so that we can make electrum blend, so that we can make actual electrum ingots. Uh, but this thing here was pretty simple. Uh, no, not electrum. Energy cell frame. This thing right here. So it was just a lead gear, which is just lead around iron easy then some glass and then some iron and we got the lead or the energy cell frame which is cool um so yeah i'm gonna head over to the island island 
there. Yeah, I'm going to go over to the island, do a little bit more mining, see if I can find some copper. When I come back, we're going to get going on all of the stuff we're going to work on today. All right. So, got the copper that I needed. Also got the rest of the uh, the rest of the uh, ingots that we're going to need. We're going to need to make a copper gear, right? Actually, we need two copper gears. And we need a tin gear as well. So, we'll put three of those in the center. Get those copper gears made. Get the tin gear made. Right? Okay, so that takes care of all the gears that we're going to need. We need a redstone reception coil, which means we need a couple of pieces of redstone. Where did I put my redstone? Those are over here. Yeah. We need one, two of those. Uh, we need to get out of the water. Okay. We need to get uh, this here. Here. Okay, okay. so reception coil. Oh, let's see. What else do we need? We need this. So we need glass and iron. Do I have glass on me? No. Down in one of the... Beds. Not that one. Must be this one. Yes. Glass. We're going to need more of that, but we can't do more yet because we don't have what we need. Um, actually, that's not true. I had some other glass here. I? Here? Yeah. Okay. Good. So we do, we do have a little bit more. Because we're going to need some glass probably to make the uh, the igneous extruder as well. So, uh, let's see, where are we at now? So we're ready to do this. We need a couple of pieces of flint. Flint is easy, though, too, because we can just use gravel to make a piece of flint, which is awesome. Uh, plus, we'll get flint as a byproduct once we get that pulverizer up and running, I think. So we're ready to do this. We need a piston. That means we're going to need another piece of redstone. We need some iron. Iron there. Uh, redstone, yes, wood, wood, wood here, yeah, uh, here. Three of those need cobble, which I should have on me, yes. So now we can do this, 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 and piston. Is that everything now? I'm gonna make this frame, so need two more pieces of iron. All right, that's enough. Iron, please. Thank you. Can't wait to get this thing going because then we can start doubling our ores, which is awesome. There's the machine frame. Now we're ready for this. We should have everything here. Yes, yes, we do. Sweet. So now we have a pulverizer. What are we going to do with this pulverizer? We are going to pulverize things, obviously. Uh, but we need to do it probably right here. So, oh, I need to fix this. Fix this. What do I got for? What do I have for gems? Um, I don't have any of this any more of this heliodor ore or gem. Which is unfortunate because that stuff is really awesome. But I do have barrel. Uh, barrel? No, that's paradox. Barrel. If I take a piece of uh, barrel and I put that in here like this, I can repair my pick, but it doesn't give it a full repair. But it'll at least be okay for a while. We're gonna need to. We're gonna need to find some more of that heliodor, uh, or, or not ore. I keep wanting to call it ore, but it's actually a gem. Um, but anyway, we're gonna need to find more of that because that's this. This pickaxe is really good. Need to find the gems to to repair it. Anyway, let's get rid of that. Get out of the water again. Uh, and we're gonna put this there, right? Now we need to get a power. How are we gonna get a power? Well, we're gonna use um, duct. So that's gonna be a power duct, a leadstone flux duct, right? That's pretty easy. That's just redstone, glass, and lead. I should have all of that available to me. Do I have enough glass? I do. Have Right here, redstone, six pieces, right? Redstone, uh, two pieces of lead. Got those right there. And was it? It was glass, right? Just a piece of glass in the middle, wasn't it? Cool. All right. Go ahead and make some of those. Boom. Boom. Oh. Sweet. Got power. Oh, got power. Boom. Cool. Powering up? No. Why is it not powering up? Power in here. Power in here. Augmenting and upgrades? No. Okay. Why you know? Oh, wait. Maybe. On. Station. What am I missing? It is flux duct that allows you to power things, right? 
that stone block was stuck. Yeah. Transfer amount is per connection. Yeah, that should power that, shouldn't it? I mean, that should power it, right? Hmm. Upgrade required. I mean, it should work, right? I mean, I should be able to put stuff in here. This. Something new. Melter. Hmm. Oh, bummer. Hang on a minute. Let me see if I can figure this out. Okay, that was really weird. I put more coal into the steam dynamo and it started putting power into this thing. So, we have power now, which is cool. Um, so, what we need to do is we actually need to start getting... We actually need to start getting stuff uh, ground down into multiple things, like some of this extra co some of this extra copper that I have here. Like, add... And, do I not have it? Did I... Oh yeah, that's right. I picked it up when I did those. Hmm. Oh well, not a big deal. Um, fine. But we are going to need to get going on some more of this stuff. And one of the things that we're going to need is uh, is glass. And so we're going to need to get some sand. And so by doing cobblestone, we should get sand, if I'm not mistaken. I think sand is the main byproduct off of cobblestone. So let's check that out real quick and see. We should also probably get a little bit of gravel too, I think. Yeah, sand. Okay, cool. So I'm going to let that I'm going to let that go for a little bit and then we're going to make a a redstone furnace so that we can start cooking some stuff up. We're also going to need to get some trees going and it's getting to be nighttime. So we're going to need a tree farm. We're going to need all kinds of stuff. So I'll be right back. I'm not sure who left this for me. I'm really not. Um, but it's kind of cool because it's got some stuff in it. It's got more dark gems, which we're always going to need. It's got uh, an ender tier in it, which I'm sure we're going to need for something. And then it's got more of this, uh, this crushed dark gem. I'm guessing it was probably JP that left it. Um, but it, I guess it could have been cracking too. But, uh, I mean, that stuff there, always appreciated, guys. Always. <laughs> okay, I think we're ready to make a, uh, I think we're ready to just about make an industrial, or not an industrial, but uh, an igneous extruder. Uh, in order to do that, you need pulverized iron and pulverized nickel um, because you need to have invar. And so I've already done the pulverized iron. Now we just need to do some pulverized nickel as well. And apparently you get pulverized nickel as a byproduct of iron too. So that's kind of cool. Um, so we'll get that processed up. But in order to make the invar ingot, uh, where is my crafting bench at? I left it over here. That's where it's at. Uh, you just need to have two of these, right? And one of these. That gives you invar blend. And so we're just going to make all of this, right? Two, three, three. That. Give me that, please. Thank you. We're going to need to throw that in here. Um, that'll give us eight at least, which is cool. Um, and I think that might be... Oh, this, oh, this is something else that I saw, by the way. At industrial... Or going. This reminds me of the old Mine Factory load. I mean, look at this. We've got mob imprisonment tools. Those are the old safari nets. They're, I think they're made the same way. You need a gas tier and some plastic. I mean, that's cool, right? I'm really excited about this. This is going to be something that we might look into later on. Uh, don't need it just yet, but we do need this. We need invar. We need invar because we're going to try and make an igneous extruder. So igneous extruder right there. We need two invar gears which is good, which is fine. Uh, in order to make those, you need four in-bar ingots each. Whoops, got out of that, didn't want to. And you also need a machine frame, which we can make. So that's gonna be iron and tin. Should have some of that. So tin and iron. There is tin. Uh, we are gonna need some more iron, which iron is easy enough. We'll get that cooking too. Uh, we need more, what we need more coal. Do, uh, uh, you know what I need? I need another furnace. We're gonna need to make a furnace. For now, we'll do that. We need to get into our chest, running low on stuff, which is fine. Some of those, maybe. I hope that'll be enough. Need to make some charcoal. Boom and boom. Go cook. Cook yourselves. Make it. It should. We should. It should be just about one for one. 
mean, it'll be a little less than one for one, but that's fine. We'll make it work. That'll get us at least some of this. We can turn into iron ingots. Cool. Uh, all right. Now, we need... What else do we need? We need this. We need the in bar that we had in here, which is good. Um, we need iron because... Iron. Uh, we're gonna have to wait for this to cook because this is gonna be super slow. Okay, so now we got our two invar. Oops, not two. One. We have two invar gears. Cool. Uh, what else do we need? We said we needed to have a machine frame, and so that's four iron around a tin gear. So let's go ahead and make eight. <sighs> Only had one piece of tin. I need four pieces. Oh, that's not enough. I don't. But I can make more, which is. I think I can make. More. Yeah, I can make. More. Go ahead and take that. This over here, like so. Out of power. Yikes. Got shiny metal. Cool. Out of power. Here. I'm out of power. I gotta go get trees. This is so bad. I gotta go get trees so that we can make more charcoal. I don't know that I have any more coal. I do not. This is something we need to look. We need to use also as, as a spawner seeker. Kraken gave this to us. Um, I have to see what that thing's all about. So it looks like I gotta go find more coal. That's probably gonna be the best place to do it. Be back. That's a little better. So now we've got pulverized tin. We can turn that into pulp and tin ingots. We've got charcoal cooking over here. Um, that should only take a second. Uh, what else can we do in the meantime? Well, let's see. We can make our invar. Our, our redstone reception coil, which we need a piece of gold. Ah, so one piece of redstone. I'll uh, get that made up here real quick. Boom. Boom. So, takes care of that. Uh, what else do we need? We need to have a couple of pieces of glass, which we have. We have another piston. Piston should be simple. Get uh, wood. Two, because we have some planks. Two can pay because I don't want that. Uh -huh. uh, we need a piece of and we got cobble. That's cool. This here. Oh, not that one. This one should pair. Here again. You can come back. And then this. That gives us that piston that we needed. Uh, so really all we're short on now is the invar gears, which I think I can make those now. Uh, no, we got the invar gears. We're short on the tin gears. So let's find our furnace. Furnaces. Got tin. Cool. Wait, that's only... Yeah, that's fine. That's one gear. One gear's worth. One, two, three. Those. These. Cool. Right. That goes there. Those go there, if I'm not... Taken and the here, cool machine frame, nice. And then if we put this, did I just throw those on the ground? I think I did. Uh, make it. I can. I have an igneous extruder. Cool. You. Hey, whoa. How do I have? Oh, I have the machine frame. Whoops. Yeah. Igneous extruder. Should have the. Oh my gosh. You out of there. You out of there. Now we should be able to. There we go. All right. Igneous extruder. I made the machine frame. That was the problem. Okay. So now we can take this and we can set it up next to an aqueous accumulator and we can, uh, and, and a lava source, and we can make our own stone, right? Which is going to be very cool. We're going to need to make our own stone because in order to make this, uh, this mob spawner that I want to do over here, I don't need it to be super tall. Um, maybe I do because according to what I've seen in order to get more of where is that over here in order to get this in order to get more bloody cobblestone the mobs apparently have to fall onto it I could be wrong it may be may be mistaken on that but if we make a, a falling mob drop then we should be able to get more of this bloody cobblestone which is important because eventually we're going to need to use some other things like uh, what is it Extractor, you know, the blood extractor, this thing right here, that's something that we can use um, to, to, to get a steady supply of blood. And there's also like a like a pedestal. Is it? Pedestal? Pedestal. 
could be a pedestal. A pedestal, pedestal, alchemy pedestal. I think it's this one. The sanguinary pedestal. Uh, yeah, drains, drains blood stained blocks in an area. So if we have a steady supply of mobs falling, then we can use this thing to uh, to kind of uh, to kind of pick up all the blood that is in the surrounding areas. And we can probably go ahead and make this now. We need a dark block, and then we need to have uh, what six more dark gems, which we have. We should have all of that. We should be able to make this pedestal now. Uh, what in the world happened there? Why did you do that? Uh, yeah, so we can, let's see, let's get rid of some of this other stuff that we've got. We've got so much stuff in our inventory right now. Inventory full. Imagine that. Our has got a full inventory. Huh. Way past it. Goes away. Can go in there too. Got more ores that can go in here. Right there. Cool. Alright, so now get several of these. We need enough to make a block, and then we need enough to go around that block. So we need... Yeah. So cool. This will be our one thing that we make for evil craft this episode. So there's a dark block. Put the dark block in there. Put... So, cool. So there's our sanguinary pedestal. Um, the other thing I wanted to make today to go along with this, now that we've got this thing, uh, now that we've got, enough, got some of this stuff made, I'm gonna go and, and, and actually create a, a basic materials lab. So we get cobblestone and uh, sand and gravel and stuff like that. Uh, on a regular basis, but the other thing I want to make that goes along with evil craft is, in fact, the uh, the extractor, the blood extractor. So, one of those made up here real quick. In order to make that, you got to have three spikes. In order to make spikes, you need a dark gem and a piece of iron. So let's go ahead and get those. Dark gems are down here. One, please. We need some iron, which is. Okay. Uh, we should be able to do this just in our normal two by two. I think. Yeah, so there's the 16 spikes. Need three of those, plus a piece of glass, plus a dark gem. Ha, ah, we got this made. Awesome. Those, give me glass, which I put here. Yes. Yes. Glass, okay. Okay, so glass, I think is what it was. And then the dark gem here, and then the pedestal, or not the pedestal, not the pedestals, but the spikes go to there. Yeah. Blood extractor. Okay. I have no idea how this thing works. I'm going to have to figure that out. Hold in inventory when slaying mobs. Oh, okay. So when you slay a mob, you actually get their blood. Okay. Let's go check that out on these cows. Um, do I have, wait a minute, do I have any, do I have anything that I can use to breed those cows first? Wait, oh, okay. Cool. Go ahead and breed those cows first. And then, uh, and then we can go ahead and kill them, kill some of them, and, and see what this does. This ought to be pretty cool. Go ahead and take a look at that. Because there are cows over here. So we could put a cow farm together and we could use that to get our to get our, our steady supply of blood. Maybe. Don't know how well that's going to work. Anyway, here's a couple of cows. Come here, cows. Come here, moo-moos. Here. Ooh. Get bread. Good boys. Girls. <laughs> uh, do we have any more cows? That's a bummer. That's okay, because I really only need one of these, right? And it says to keep this thing in my inventory. Yeah, you just keep right on walking, dude. So I'm going to put this down here in my hot bar so we can see it. Okay. Why are you following them? Stop following them. Blood. I did. I got 263 millibuckets of blood. So we're going to need to do a lot more of that, but we're going to need to get a steady supply of cows before we can. Um, one thing that we can probably do for that is that uh, at industrial foregoing, real foregoing, we might look into this a little bit because there is a um, th there's a way to do a tree farm. So we got the plant sower and the plant gatherer. That's kind of a cool thing. There's also one in here for... Uh, there's potion brewing, mm. animal baby separators, um, one in here for feeding. Right, well, we got the mob duplicator. Uh, mm. Heard something. Oh, oh. <laughs> Dude. Mm. Mm. 
So anyway, uh, folks, I need to check and see where we're at on time. And uh, it looks like Zelzar's here for something. I don't know what the world happened there. Oh, he's got us a gift. Okay. What did he give us? What is this? Oh, he gave us a diamond wand. Cool. Well, there's one. Very nice. Ow. Cool. Yeah, because we're, that'll help out a lot when we go to do the uh, the mob farm over there. So that'll be great. Anyway, folks, let me go ahead and check time on a few things. And it looks like nighttime's coming, so we want to sleep. And I got to do some more breeding on these cows. And I gotta. This episode has kind of gotten hodgepodged all up. So let me uh, let me do some stuff, and I will come right back to you. Just need a little feather rack. Nothing big. Reckon's got these things called magic beans. I have no idea what they're for, but I think I want to try one. Wait, where did it? Lose it. I lost it. Oh no. Not in there. Oh, and Zelzar gave me blaze rods too. Uh oh, I think I did something wrong here. Ah, oh, okay. So magic beans give you kinds of stuff. Very cool. It gave me an egg. Uh, okay. Interesting. Okay, so we don't have a lot of time left for this episode, but there is one more thing I want to do. I've already pulverized up some silver. I'm going to pulverize up this gold as well. That will give us um, Electrum Blend, right? If we put these two together, we get Electrum Blend. So silver and gold gives us Electrum. And then we can smelt these up, right? Turn those into ingots as if I get into a furnace that has actual coal. <laughs> Uh, one, two, three, you go there, and then come here. Melt those up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to make a, uh, a magma crucible as well. Um, I've already been to the nether and got some nether brick. Or, well, I got some nether, uh, some nether rack to make nether. So we got to smelt that up real quick as well. Um, so we don't need much. We only need like eight people, right? So we'll just put this this because we only need uh, we only need to make pieces of nether brick right um, so what the reason why we need the magma crucible is because we need to get it we need, we need to have a steady supply of lava into one side of the igneous extruder and a steady supply of water into the other side so we can do that with an aqua and aqueous accumulator uh, so we'll need to make another one of those we'll do that off camera since you guys have already seen me make one of those um, but uh, we want to get this set up so that we can have a steady supply of cobblestone, and then cobblestone goes into a pulverizer, and then the, pulveri then the uh, pulverizer gives us sand, and then so we'll have we'll have cobblestone, we'll have gravel, and we'll have sand all at once because gravel is a byproduct of uh, of pulverizing cobblestone. So as soon as we get enough of this, so hitting the wrong buttons here, uh, that's fine. I don't need that. Give me some of the and give me all of them. Yes. That'll only take another second to do that. We can turn these into bricks like a so. Ready? Uh, this should, no, there isn't anything in there. What else do we need to make? We need to make a conductance coil. Uh, that's gonna be one of these. So that's gonna be redstone and electrum. Here we're also gonna need a piece of gold. Get a piece of gold, right? Oh, we'll four of those, I believe. Okay, so here, this, this, that, one of those, cool. This, here, and here, and gold, and those, cool. And what else do we need now? We need to have this, other, other brick, back, turned into another brick, cool. What else do we need? We need a 
couple of invar gears. Uh oh, didn't make any invar. Dang it. I hate it when I do that. Uh, do I have, I have four invar in here? I'm gonna need to make some more. This. This, right? Yeah, so that gives me three. Let's let's do twelve. Twelve ought to be good. Cool. Get those cooking up real quick. Not there. Pulverized. Invar blend. Cool. Um, what else? How much I can do until this gets done, is there? Uh, we got that, we got that. We can make this machine frame, so that's a tin gear. Do I have enough tin? Probably not. Ooh, I have enough tin. Do I have any tin? I have two. Nickel. Silver. Uh oh. How do you get tin? Okay, great. Tin. Tin we can get from smelting. It's pulverized tin from pulverizer. Tin, and that's it? You can only get pulverized tin? Oh. That's not good. I was hoping we could get some from a byproduct of something, but apparently we did not. Uh-oh. Well, since I don't have any more tin, just those two pieces, it looks like we might not make this after all, folks. That's a bummer. That's really is, that really is a bummer. Um, uh, well, anyway, I guess that's all we're going to be able to do today, folks. Was hoping we'd be able to make that uh, that magma crucible, but we got a lot done. We got uh, we did get ourselves set up so that we have uh, a pulverizer, so that we can start pulverizing ores and doubling them up. Uh, so I'll get that automated, get it to output to a chest and all that. I think what we're going to do is we're going to set up some some preliminary operations either over there or down there. Down there might be cool. I was checking something out uh, earlier, and there is an elevator that's in here. It's not your standard elevator, so it's it's from uh, Tuts or Thoot or Thoots Tech. Um, so it's an elevator, and it doesn't look super hard to make. You know what? Why don't Why don't we go ahead and make this? So we need this, which is iron and redstone, and we need this, which is iron, redstone, and stone. We should have all of that, right? All of that. I have any stone? I might. Stone? I do have stone. That up there, put that, that there. Wool block. What? The wool block. Oh, I got that from that uh, magic bean, I'll bet. Okay. So we need iron and redstone. Grab some of that. And then we'll go ahead and make this and we'll see what this thing can do. I don't know if it needs power or anything like that. We're just going to have to check it out and see. If you guys know anything, that would be great. And we are out of, we're out of iron again. Of course we are. Be fine. You go there. You my iron is pulverized iron. Start cooking that up. Uh, all right. So, but yeah, we need to go into this. This that gives us those. Cool. This. Do I have enough? I'm missing one piece of iron. Well, that works out. Piece of iron right there. Cool. This. Boom. Okay, so now how does this thing work? We've got an elevator control block and we've got an elevator. If I can set this up in such a way, whole block, we'll put there. Doesn't do anything. This one here doesn't do anything. I don't know. If you guys know how this thing works, that'd be great. Because what we could do bring this right up in here remember we're gonna have these little um, these little pagodas all over the place so over here on this side since this is gonna be the way we enter into the base we'll have the waystone kind of right out here a little bit you know, little pagoda surrounding it waystone walkway right uh, we could also then have another one of these little pagodas maybe in between with an elevator that goes down and then we can start building part of this base underground as well you guys let me know what you think about that but sadly folks we are out of time Thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe. The likes and subscriptions help out oh so immensely when it comes to those pesky YouTube search results. 
The other thing that helps out a lot is comments, so make sure you leave your comments right down here in the comment section below, and we'll chat about it. Leave your tips, your tricks, your pointers, your attaboys, your what in the world were you thinking, all that good stuff, and we will have a wonderful discussion about it. Don't forget to come on by the Discord channel and chat with us there. We're always in there talking about different stuff, be it Minecraft, City Skylines, whatever it might be, and uh, things always go pretty well and pretty fun there. There's a nice little memes channel in there and just a good place for us to get to know each other and uh, and talk about all things Minecrafty and such. But anyway, thanks again for watching, folks, and until next time, we will catch you on the flip side. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.